Breaking now, severe weather alert is heavy rain, strong winds, and tornado threats sweep into the tri-state. People preparing for the worst, cleaning storm drains, power crews on standby. The city under a tornado watch. Storm Team 4 is standing by to guide you through this storm. Let's give you a live look at the Guanas Expressway right now in Brooklyn. As the heavy rain starts to move in as we speak, it is impacting your evening commute. Now, this is the hour where the heaviest rain, winds, and tornado threat begins to impact our area. We think Thank you so much for joining us right now at 7 o'clock. I'm Natalie Pasquarella. As we said, we've been watching those storms move from the south toward us all day long, and it's all part of what was Hurricane Ida. Those remnants have already dropped down tornadoes in Annapolis, Maryland. Take a look at this one there. Wow, it almost hit that car. You see the debris pelting it. And stop and look at this dramatic image right here. You see, those are children who had to be rescued from a school bus that almost got washed away in Fredericksburg, Maryland. Thankfully, though, happy to report those kids are okay. Now, all that intense weather is heading right for us. You see it on the radar there. Our team is in place, ready to guide you through the next 12 hours. Storm Team 4's Dave Price will take you through the impacts, but we start with Matt Brickman tracking the latest alerts right now. Matt. Yeah, the heavy rain coming down. We are under a flash flood warning throughout the five boroughs, most of New Jersey under that as well, and now extending through Nassau, western Suffolk County, up through the Hudson Valley, and out into Connecticut. We have seen incredible rainfall rates already of one to two inches an hour. Already several parts of the tri-state have seen several inches of rain come down, and we've seen tornado warnings. Those have just expired at 7 o'clock, but a new severe thunderstorm warning going until 8 o'clock tonight. Hunterdon, Middlesex, Somerset, Said, along with Morris and Monmouth County, winds gusting to 60 miles an hour and the possibility of tornadoes. We have seen confirmed tornadoes from this line of thunderstorms within the last couple of hours and all that heavy rain still within, embedded within this as well. There is an active tornado warning just south of Trenton and this is the direction that those storms are coming in from, from the southwest to the northeast, that heavier rain pushing into the city right now and we're just starting to see the heaviest rain roll in within the last hour. This will continue through the evening hours and perhaps into the overnight as well. Look at how much rain is down already. Areas in yellow indicating over two inches of rain, over three inches in orange, five plus inches of rain already in western New Jersey. Those are the spots in red and darker colors. So that heavier rain just pushing in right now. Now, Natalie, we'll continue to see that along with the threat of tornadoes. The tornado watch was extended and expanded up north through the city as well. We've got an active evening ahead of us. We'll look ahead at when the rain finally moves out coming up in just a bit. All right, Matt, thank you for that. You were talking about New Jersey. Now, northern New Jersey could see heavy rain. It appears as we go to News Force Chris Gorioso live for us in Woodland Park uh, that it's coming down pretty hard where you are right now, Chris. Natalie, this is the kind of rain we have been anticipating all day. It is heavy, it is steady, it is sometimes wind-driven, and this is one of the rivers that New Jersey emergency managers have their eye on. This is the Peckman River, and if you were watching our live shot at 5 o'clock, you can see it is moving considerably faster than it was at that time. The folks who live on the banks of the Peckman this kind of picture makes them nervous because they remember back in 2018, similar rainfall caused catastrophic flooding. I told my mom, let's get out of here. I got my brother. We started just running down the street. In Little Falls, brothers Philip and Mike Arena remember the last catastrophic flood all too well. In 2018, their street was inundated when the neighboring Peckman River spilled over its banks. The water swept up dozens of vehicles parked at this Route 46 car dealership. Eight-year-old Mike says he was nearly swept away, too, in waist-deep water. I remember that the wave um, went really fast and I almost um, drowned. You were in the water? Yes. It's impossible to predict whether Ida's rainfall will cause flash flooding anywhere near this magnitude, but in nearby Woodland Park, the mayor is asking his residents to be ready for anything, from the worst-case scenario to puddles in the basement. 
We're obviously hoping for the best. We hope we don't experience any flooding in the next couple of days, but we want people to be prepared that if we the, the river does rise, that they're prepared, their basements are cleared, their sentimental uh, items are taken with them, and that they have a place to go. Managers of that Route 46 car dealership declined to speak with us today, but we noticed they have moved their inventory to higher ground. Since the 2018 catastrophe, the Peckman River has also been dredged, so it can now handle more rainfall. Neighboring homeowner John Riley said he's confident the riverbanks will hold tonight. His dog Barkley still keeping a nervous watch out the window. What does your gut tell you about this storm? What does the gut tell me about the storm? That as long as the river keeps moving, we're good. Just can't have no cars falling in and damming it up under the bridge. Back live on the Peckman River, and you can see the river is moving, but it is moving very fast, and you can see how quickly the waters are coming up. Big question tonight will be how much rain dumps on this river, other river basins around northern New Jersey. And remember, it's not just flash flooding we have to be worried about. There are reports even right now of ponding on multiple roadways. This is going to be a very busy night for northern New Jersey first responders. You can help them out by staying off the roads if there's any way you can. For now, reporting live in Woodland Park, Chris Glorioso, News 4 New York. All right, Chris, thank you for that. We want to go to News 4's Jackie Beckford. She's live in Hackensack, where, Jackie, it's also really coming down where you are. I see some puddles there behind you. I understand officials also warning of, of major flooding there, too. Yeah, pretty much reiterating what Chris said. This area expected to get a lot of rain over the next six to eight hours. Uh, we're here actually in Main Street near uh, Route 4. You can see some of the ponding on the roadways here. Not a lot so far, but we have seen the rain uh, coming down progressively harder over the last hour or so. The wind, not so much of a factor, although every now and then you'll get a couple of really, really hard gusts. But the main concern for this storm is definitely flash flooding. The warning, as Chris mentioned, to stay off the roadways unless absolutely necessary. Uh, in fact, in Lodi, neighboring Lodi, police have already issued warnings telling people that the Saddle River is expected to overflow its banks around 10 p.m. tonight and are warning people there to stay home, to stay off the roadways if possible. Uh, Governor Murphy saying as well that places like Lodi uh, and Helmeta, which have issues with severe flooding or, 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 or serial flooding, are places that they're keeping an eye on, even though evacuations have not been ordered. That is something that is still on the table, he says, and they'll pull people out if they have to once again, just like we saw with Henri. We're live tonight in Hackensack. Jackie Beckford, News 4, New York. Yeah, Checky, you are right. You just mentioned Helmetta. That's one spot closely watching the storms. People there are still cleaning up from last week's storm. News Force Brian Thompson is there as they prepare. Hey, Brian. Hey, and I got to tell you, just a few minutes ago, I got a flash flood alert that it's very likely somewhere in the area where I am, depending on exactly where the lowest lying area is. You can thing. see this creek. Uh, they are watching this very closely. Uh, it was uh, uh, the creek that caused a lot of the problems here in uh, Helmetta just a week and a half ago when Henri came through. Uh, the damage was severe to uh, many homes. 150 people were uh, evacuated from their area, and there is real concern. Scared, you know, dumb, worry, concern, you know, all these feelings, you know. I mean, it's a good town, but the whole water situation is, is, is horrible. Now, that flooding last week, the mayor said it was record flooding that he had never heard of or seen in this town in all of his time here. Uh, they think they have been able to, uh, well, clean the, the storm drains and make a deal with Jamesburg upriver to, uh, or downriver, to rather, to, to uh, open up the sluice gates on their big pond so the water doesn't back up. But it just depends on what Ida wants to do. And whatever Ida wants, it looks like Ida will get. Live in Helmetta, Brian Thompson, News 4 New York. All right, Brian, we thank you for that coverage there, our team coverage. We're staying on top of this storm for you. We will continue to bring you the latest alerts and live image throughout this newscast. Now, if you're heading out tonight, be sure to download our NBC4 New York app. It really comes in handy. You can track the storm from wherever you are. And the best part, I think, personally, is you get the alerts sent right to your phone if you sign up.